Alright, hello everyone, this is Know It All and I am back with another video. And in this video I'll be showing you a quick little leveling guide. If you played this game, you're probably already got a couple you've already got like a level eighty. See, this person did what I told him to. You're missing out and you're gonna get your turrets killed, boy. And it doesn't look like you are right. You're not oh oh he hit see it? No, wait, maybe he's getting healed by me. Not the point. Uh, when leveling in this game, you'll realize you get crap experience from monsters. This is by design to keep out farmers from leveling up super high and getting to the higher level zones. It's also so that we people don't sit around grinding all day. Grinding in a Korean MMO such as Ion and uh, Terra have become extremely common because that's how the games were just designed. It's like tradition. This guy was just spawned. Now we're going to show you. And I'm going to be explaining to you a quick little system that Guild Wars 2 has in play. So let me let me kill him first. Now here I got 334 experience and no bonus. Well, you're going to be saying, how does the bonus experience work? Bonus experience is applied to a mod that has been in the world longer. The longer that the monsters in the world, the more experience it's worth. Simple explanation. So you'll want to go after mobs that are that have been around longer than the other ones. Hold on. Okay, I had to get out of the skirmish. But uh, let me explain how you can level. You're gonna wanna run, you're gonna go around and you wanna kill those I that mobs that have been there and that nobody else kills. Uh, most commonly you can do this in the Asura and Char zones because their population is so small. <coughs> Don't start a character in the human zone because that is the most commonly picked race in the game. It still is and there's a lot of farmers there because it's so easy. The next step for leveling quickly, there's you want to gather everything. And gathering nodes apply a lot of experience, and they're easy to get, and you get money for them. So it's kind of like you're getting free stuff, and most people don't do it because they don't think it rewards that much. All you need is a cheap little gathering tool. I use Orichalcum because that's my level. You'll only be able to ga gather any item no matter what the level is, but please remember that the experience is still applied dependent on your level, and if the thing is higher level than the gathering tool can gather, you will get something that's completely worthless and is only able to be sold to a vendor. Hold on. Okay. Now, there's a lot of ways you can choose to level. Let me give you some bad examples. You don't want to sit around grinding all day like farming like in this zone. That'll give you crap experience, you'll get annoyed, and you'll get such, like, you'll get so little loot it's not even worth your time. Well, here you'll get a lot of loot, but you have to be level 80 in the first place. I did it again, I wandered into here. Ooh, I got an unidentified die. Unidentified die. And, um, when you're leveling, like, I, I got a lot of points there by basically sitting around and waiting for them all to kill stuff. Now, I leveled my own unique way. Well, I guess some people do it. I leveled strictly through dungeons after level 30. I ran AC, Ascalonian Catacombs, all the way to level 80. By the time I was there, I had my full set of Ascalonian gear. I didn't want the staff because I was waiting for the Peacemaker staff. I figured if I'm going to be an Asura, I'm going to have one Asura weapon and I pick the staff. Staff looks cool. I had a full set of level 80. I had the full... Uh, I had all the runes because I made so much money from it. I also gained a lot of dungeoning experience from playing the class that you won't get by just jumping into any random dungeon at level 80. Now, there were downsides to this. Because I leveled through there, I didn't do like most of the map completion. I only had 27%. I haven't explored most of the map. I haven't been to like any of these areas. I missed out on that, but I basically just sat around waiting for people to do AC, and I got a crap load of good gear. And I, and I, I was happy. I, I was doing pretty well. I got level 80, and I, I understood my class so thoroughly because I was working with groups that I, I can jump into Worldview World, and, and I can lead in Worldview World. I didn't spend 100 gold on the stupid thing though, so I don't. I'm not. I'm not a leader in Worldview World. You only get respect if you waste 100 gold that says, look at me, I'm not your boss. I, I don't understand people. They take title over experience. Um, 
but yeah, that's one way you can level. Another way you can level, you can level the best, argu the arguably the best one, is to go through and complete the zones. Do your story missions, complete the zone. I don't mean gathering all the points, you can do that later. But gather most of them and always gather the talent points. You always want to get the talent points and the waypoints. They give you the most experience and they give you the best reward. Vistas and points of interest are nice and do give you supplemental experience. However, what you'll realize very quickly is you, they're taking too much time to get to for the amount of experience that they're worth. You also want to complete all the hearts. There's such good experience there and you want to do any dynamic event you can do. Very simple stuff here, people. Surprised I've been over here. Now, my way, I, I like my way because I, yeah, I, it's all unique play style. You could do it through dungeons. Don't do world view world. Don't do world versus world. It is the worst way to level. I am not joking. You gain so little experience, and if your faction is getting raffle stomped, you have no chance of leveling. You're just wasting your time and your money. I, I hated World of the World my first couple of days. I was so low level I was getting stomped. I kept putting money into these forts that no one was bothering to defend. And it annoyed me because it's like, what's the point of defending them anymore? What's the point of upgrading them? Now that my faction is actually like kicking, it's just winning. We're just kicking everyone's butt. Reset again. When did it reset? Yesterday? Oh, well then. We started raffle stomping, uh, what's that server, uh, Ferguson's Crossing. You guys beat us and beat us and beat us down, and then one day, we finally got enough support from the player base. We started kicking your butts, and we won. But that's not the point. That is the worst way to level, is through a world of your world. Little experience, a lot of money gone. There's no point. Um, dynamic events and dungeons are the best way to level. Um, that's truly about all it is. There's not a whole lot you can you need to do when you're leveling. Uh, just pick your faction. Here's a way to help you with faction. If you're in lower levels and you want to get more talent points, literally all you have to do is just go. If you're in the uh, in the sea stuff as the Asura. Get all of them over here. Go over here. Go to the Char Zone. Get all the ones over here. Go to the Queensdale. Get all the ones over here. And you've already racked up probably close to 20 uh, talent points. You'll be able to knock out your first one. You'll be able to knock out these ones. And you're going to get... Uh, uh, sorry, you're going to get... Uh, damn it. You'll actually finish these. Yeah. You'll get about 20 points just from completing it. You'll get all these done and all these roughly by the time you're level 20. That's extremely good. Hold on. But uh, that's about all I can give you as far as advice for leveling. So uh, please stay tuned for another video. Check in the comments below if you have any questions or any more advice. Because I will be creating more videos on this topic. Because I know it was hard for me to level and I don't want everyone else to be that way. I I had issues with leveling, lack of people, but that's a story for another time. So uh, see you guys later, and uh, smack that like button in the face, tell your friends, share it, or check out my website for more important stuff, and subscribe to the official Daily Exposition uh, YouTube channel, which is titled The Daily Exposition, or you can go to my website and you'll be able to see the link at the very top next to the name. But uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.